in this question there are three charges plus q placed at a minus q at b and plus q at c abc are the corners vertices of an equilateral triangle find net force on charge at each vertex so equilateral triangle charge at a is plus q b is minus q c is plus q we find the force on charge at a so a will be repelled by c outward a will be attracted by b towards b so the net force on a will be the vector sum of force on a due to b plus force on a due to c this is the direction of force on a due to c it will be repelled from a outward this is the force on a due to b a will be attracted towards b the angle between them for an equilateral triangle all the inside angles are 60 degree this will be 120 degree if on a due to o c f on a due to b c is c now the sides are l we can give a side we can take side as l so force on a will be force on a due to c plus force on a due to b the distances are same even the charges are same so the magnitude of the forces fac and fab are kq square by l square the angle between them is 120 degree we not for two equal forces if the angle is 120 degree the resultant force is same as one of the forces that means the resultant force a will be same as kq square by l square it's along the line bisecting fab and fab fac and fab in 60 degree with fac and fab that's a resultant force on a now if we count the resultant force on b b will be attracted by a and b will be attracted by c so fb will be fba plus fbc again the distance and the charges are of equal values so the effect will be fab fba and fbc both same as kq square by l square so uh, this force is fac not fab now the angle between fb and fbc is 60 degree this is fba this is fbc the angle between them is 60 degree for two equal forces acting at 60 degree the resultant will be root 3 times of one of the force so this is the resultant direction of fb root 3 times of kq square by l square acting 30 degree from fb and fb bisect that's a force on fb Now, similar to F A, we can find F C also. A will repel C down. B will attract C to the left. So this is a force on C due to A, and this is a force on C due to B. The angle is again 120 degree. The resultant will be along the bisector of the rectangle as it is. So. mathematically speaking fc will be fc a plus fc b but fc a and fc b are equal in magnitude both are kq square by l square angle is 120 degree so the resultant force again one of the force is bisecting the angle between the two 